Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. You're watching Broadtuned, and today we're going to test out the new boroscope I got. It's a Teslon boroscope, and I got it from Amazon for $50. Works pretty well, as you can see here. This is my unfired GSG 16. Just taking a quick look down the bore, see what it looks like unfired, and I kind of wanted to see what it would look like after I fired it. So this is without the mirror, just a straight borescope. So basically, yeah, everything is looking pretty nice, pretty smooth. A little bit of dust or debris in there, but nothing to be too alarmed about. And that's a 16 inch barrel from the chamber to the muzzle. That's now, after 100 rounds fired with a 90 degree mirror on, we're gonna look at the chamber side of things. Looks a little rough and pitted and stuff, but it's probably not going to affect anything. Here's the throat, and we're getting into land now. So, everything looks pretty nice, except for there's like a little bit of a flared edge at the bottom. But yeah, so 100 rounds, and there's pretty much no change at all in the barrel. Like as you can see here, looks pretty sweet. Everything's looking nice and clean. There's a little bit of debris too, but as you can see, it's not going to really do anything anyways. But the sporoscope works pretty good. It's a 20 caliber diameter, so if anything, well, you'd probably be able to fit it in a 204 uh, chamber or barrel, but this is 22 and there's a little nick there, but doesn't mean much of anything at all and continuing on uh, as you can see on the side on the side of the mirror you can see the barrel because it's just a screw on tip and the LED lights are adjustable which is pretty cool too and it's just a USB connection in the back of a computer and it also comes with a little uh, plug to plug it into like an Android phone or something so you could probably use your Android phone. I have not tried that. I just have it into my Mac here and this is what I'm using. So the barrel looks pretty sweet. The boroscope works amazing. And then we're going to take off the 90 degree mirror and go for another run down the barrel starting from the muzzle, working our way down to the chamber. That's coming up next. I wanted to take a quick look at my crown here and I noticed there's like a little ding at the end but because it's not a precision rifle in any way shape or form I'm just gonna leave it alone so now we're re-entering the muzzle from the tip and we're going down deep and you can see there's like unburnt powder or a little bit of debris from firing you can see it down to any rifle barrel after you're shooting and we're just going to dive down deep in there, see what we could find. So now we're getting into the chamber again. All the way in, and that's the chamber. Throat's right there, and then we're getting into the rifling again. So this is our way back out. The horoscope works pretty well, and I'm kind of happy that I bought it because I like checking stuff out like this. It looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll do my 300 Win Mag next. That's the highest round count rifle I have here. But I don't know if I'll make a video about it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Ah, and I recommend this bore scope to anyone who's interested in checking out their bore of any rifle, 20 caliber or larger. Uh, have a look. Teslon Borescope. Thanks a lot, guys.